Hi and welcome to Prenatal Pilates. No equipment needed today, just your mat and some water if you need to have a drink. Don't forget to check in with your GP to make sure that you're okay to exercise, especially if you're starting a new exercise program. All right, so just enjoy. We're gonna start by taking a nice full breath in through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Nice breath in. Exhaling through the mouth. As we inhale, take the shoulders up towards the ears. As we exhale, just drop them nicely down the back. Hold them there, breath in. Exhale out. Let's take the arms out to the side. Hands facing towards the front. Thumbs up in the air, you're gonna take a breath in. Shoulders relax. As you exhale, you're gonna drop the thumb and push it back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Turn the thumb back up and push the hands forward in line with the chest. So take a breath in. Drop, push, squeeze. And back to the front. We're gonna continue with this. Breath in. Center. Well done. You're going to lean into one side so your fingertips are spread and just gently drop into the heel of the hand, taking the arm, opposite arm up towards your ear. You're going to take a breath in, exhale and just make a circle, brush past the side of the body all the way up. Again, just continue with this exercise. and we're just doing a stretch through the shoulders don't hold your breath remember nice full breaths in and out take it up both hands and then the opposite arm now is reaching to the side fingertips spread and pushing into the heel of the hand the other one brushes past the ear and across the side of the body nice big circles big stretch through the side of the body Nice full breaths in and out. up big stretch through the shoulders slight twist inhale exhale back up into the center and relax the arms down well done so we're going to come onto the side of the body and remember the key principles we keep nice and aligned and stacked so elbow and shoulder in line and we're just going to flatten the hand in front the hips are in line and we're going to just straighten the top leg on this one and just sit as comfortably as possible on the other you might want to put a pillow underneath if you're starting to have a bump uh, if not the hips on top of each other remember and this other hand can be placed in front if you need that little bit of balance but we shouldn't be supporting and leaning over and try and keep the hips as still as we can all right so we're just going to do some gentle leg lifts we're going to take a breath in lift the leg exhale so the heel at uh, the toe is flexed the heel pushes away from the body and you should just feel it in the side of the leg inhale and exhale on the move there you 
right, so we're gonna push the heel away from the body, squeeze the bottom, but no rocking of the hip. So a nice, gentle, controlled move back into the center. So you've moved off the floor and you're squeezing it back. The heel goes back, squeeze the bottom, no rocking of the hips. Check your other part of the body, make sure you're not slumped down, you're nice and tall, and you're getting that support through the shoulders and the elbow. So really reach back, swing back, and control the move in your glute, so in your bottom. Last one, so this is eight, and then bring it back. Both legs now, and the top one comes over, and the bottom one's underneath, and you're just gonna do gentle lifts from this angle, from the bottom leg. So just eight lifts up. And eight, well done. Bringing them both up. We're just gonna lift our hips up towards the ceiling. Again, make sure you're stacked. If this is too much, remember you can skip it and move on to the next one. I'll continue with the two that we've just done. So we're gonna take a breath in, keep the knees on the floor and take our hips up towards the ceiling. Take a breath in, exhale and lift through the hips and gently back down. We're gonna bring the arm into it if you can. So the other arm's gonna come up and stretch to the side of the body. Yes, yeah, so take a breath in at the bottom. Exhale. Well done. So we're coming up nice and gently onto our all fours. So spread the fingers, wrists and shoulders in line, knees and hips in line. We're just going to roll through, push the shoulders up towards the ceiling and gently back down. Eyes on the mat, breathing in. Exhale, roll the hips and the spine up towards the ceiling. Push the shoulders up and gently down. Two more, breath in. Exhale, roll. Gently down. Breathe in at the bottom. Exhale, roll. Push the chest away from the floor. And gently down. You're gonna come onto the forearms again elbows in line with your shoulders spread the fingers and you're just going to curl your toes under and you're going to straighten through the legs and push away from the body so your tummy might be falling down a little bit so you just want to take your tummy button and you want to reach it right back I want you to walk your feet toes in a little. Breathing in and out. And gently back onto the knees. And arms come up. And this time, we're going to straighten through the, the legs in a downward dog position, but without coming, uh, bending the elbows. So we're not on the forearm, just staying in this position. So you're going to turn the toes under, push the bum up towards the ceiling. And again, with the pregnancy bump, it might drop a little, so just try and pull that tummy button, reach it right back towards your spine. And push your heels gently into the floor. Let's just do a walking dog. So one knee bends, the other one straight, and the heel pushes into the floor. Push through the fingertips and the heels of the hands. Your back should be nice and straight. Ah, 
and relax that walk you're going to lift one leg again if this is too intense guys just skip it or go back onto your knees so you can go like this and do the exercise if you can try and stay with me you're going to take your knee bend it flick it up and round all right so we're doing a circle all the way around for the hips try not to wobble or rock through the other hip the one the other one wants to stay nice and still forwards well done drop it across to the other side flick that knee up reach the knee back and a big circle around with the hip And gently drop the foot back down and back onto the knees and walk the hands up and we're going to swap over across to the other side so the other leg again alignment is key so you just need to make sure your elbow and your shoulder are in line and the bottom leg can be nice and relaxed and bent on this one and again the hips are in line with each other stacked on top Preferably if you have a, a pillow you can place it underneath if you need to. So it's the top leg, remember to flex the toes, relax the bottom leg and we're just going to push the heel away from the body and lift. So take a breath in, exhale, lift, don't forget to breathe. And then we're going to push away so the heel goes behind so behind the midline squeeze the bottom and back to the center nice and relax it's not a fast movement because we don't want to rock through the hips breathing in and out so we breathe in here exhale as we squeeze that bottom and the heel goes back yeah try and keep everything else as still as possible Don't sink through the shoulders, don't drop the chest. And gently down. Well done. So it's the bottom leg now that's straightening underneath and we're resting the top leg and then you're just going to lift it from the bottom. So. Breathing in and out. Well done. So you pick your feet together and bring them up. And we're going to do that side lift. Remember the knee staying on the floor and the, your elbow and your shoulder are in line. I'm going to take a breath in. I'm going to lift the hips up towards the ceiling like this. Yeah, and then when we can, I'm going to take the arm over as well. So I'm going to take a breath in. Exhale and lift. And gently down in your own time. Breathing in. And exhale as you lift. comfortable on your legs 
to take a breath in. Exhale out, relax your shoulders down the spine. Place your hands on your shoulders. Lift your elbows up to shoulder height. You can take a nice breath in. As you exhale, we're just going to gently turn just to where you can. Inhale at this point. Exhale out. Back to the center. Breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale back to the center. Take the arms in front of the heart. We're going to take a breath in. Exhale. As we exhale, we take the arms over and drop them down. So you're going to take a breath in at this point. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale out. Namaste.